Good evening people, my name is Rich, welcome to the review of the RDA Mini Dripper Atomizer 1.5mm. What we're looking at is the depth of 14.3mm as well as the width which is the same 14.3mm and the height of 496 Looks kind of nice, a lot of nice blue casing made of aluminium with a steel tank, top drip tip. With all that, you've got your little o ring, which gives it a nice little seal and a nice grip to the aluminium casing. Take off the casing and have a closer look. As you can see, got a tiny little hole there, looking about. 0.5 mil, which is a small little air hole. I uh, think it should have been a bit higher and a bit more uh, open. Say something like about a, a one mil, maybe a one and a half mil, so you can get a nice little vape for it. Then we look at the base. Well, as you see there, the one on the right is a little bit lower to the one on the left. Got uh, gold plated top sections there, which you can twist by hand, which makes it kind of a bit more easier instead of uh, mucking around with screwdrivers. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go down, make a coil, and just get it all set up. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get our chemical wire, got 27 gauge here, uh, which I reckon is going to be. Quite good to use it on. And we should be looking at anything from around about 0 0.51 to anything up to about 0 0.63 ohms. So what I'm going to do is try and unravel a bit of this coil wire. And we're basically going to be looking at about 4 inches of coil wire. Let's try and get it untangled from there. Ah, there we go. Try and straighten it out so it's nice and straight. I think Kenful 27 gauge is quite a nice wire because it's easy to work with. It's nice and thin, and obviously, you're going to get a nice heat from it. So, what we're going to do get a ruler, measure out about four inches. Just for the coil. So we've got four inches there, gonna give it a little bit of a trim off. Might look a bit ragged at the end, but by the time you think about it, by the time you've cut that end off, it should be looking quite well. So give that a little twist so it holds the wire in. Then come to and here we go, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get down the bottom and we're gonna look about making this coil. So what we have here is we got our cotton for the RBA and need some scissors. Also I got the proper scissors so I've got a Swiss Army knife to do that. Bit of cotton, our bit of chemical wire. I want something that's gonna be big enough, something to like a 2.5 so you can get a big enough gap for your hole. Pair of tweezers to help bring it all through. And I haven't got a, a meter reader, but I've got my Kuiper, which gives us a good reading on it. So here we go, we're gonna go down to the coil. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the end, put it on top of the screwdriver, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to make sure it's to the side and basically we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to go for six wraps so I'm not going to th think about the first one so we're going to go one two three four five six what I'm going to do then is basically bring that piece out, basically try and get it straightened, 
try and make it so it's all nice and tight. As you can see, it, it is quite tight. Let's make sure we get it all pushed together so it's make sure it's totally perfectly nice and tight. As you can see there now, we've got a nice, lovely, perfect coil. Six wraps. So let's go and install it onto the base. So here we go, we've got the base. What we're going to do is we're going to put Bottom one onto the bottom. That's gone. That's lower down. So get that in there. Need to undo the screw a bit more. Thought I had it a bit more uh, open. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the first line in through the wire there into the first hole. Open it that one a bit more. So it's a bit too low. Slide that in. And there we go. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to get the coil tool. Basically, try and get it in as best as we can into the centre there. And what we're going to do is then is we're going to tighten up the screws just so we secure the coil in place. Which was nice, got a good grip on it. Basically, give it a little turn. Give it a little bit of a lift there. And now you have your coil fitted on. So you've got a nice lovely perfect circle there. And a nice and tidy coil. What we're going to do now is we're going to stick it onto the clipper. And see what reading it gives us. So we've got all tightened up now. Looking at the, at the atomizer now. And there we go. Basically we've got it at 0 0.54 ohms on a 7 watt. So we've got a good ohmage there. 0 0.54. Which is not bad. I reckon it's quite good for that there. What we're going to do is we're going to get our little, little cutters. Trim off the ends so there's nothing protruding out. So it's all nice and tidy. What we're going to do is we're going to give it a fire up and and we got a low resistor. So I'm not sure what we got there. Let's give it a bit of a tweak. There we go, 054, we've got it back running. That just that'll give it a slight just, little adjustment. What we want to do is obviously try and get. So it gives us a nice glue there. Let's make sure we give it a little pinch together so it gets it nice and tight. Give it in there a little blast. Fire it up again. Give it in there a little tweak. A little push. There we go, we've got it going now. And that's what you want. You want it to go from the centre outwards. For the mod. Right, next thing we want to go and do now. Is get our coil. And get, get up. Got a bit of uh, Chinese cotton here. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it up. Something to about... 2 mil. Just trim it all the way along up. All the way up to the top. I think I got that bit there. So there we go, we've got, that, we've got our bit of wicking mount. What we're going to do is, it's, it's a bit thick, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece off. Just to make it a bit more easier and a bit more better to get it put through. What I'm going to do is wet, wet the end to make, just to make it just the end, just so we can get it to go through. So, what we're going to do is put it through, give it a little pull through, make sure it's got a nice snug little on the coil. 
And what we're going to do is then, is we're going to give it a little trim on the edges. Trim it off a bit there. Leave a little bit on the edge there, just so we can tuck it down behind the pillars. What we're going to do then is we're going to get a juice. Trying to find out if I lost it then, but I didn't. Just pull that back through again. What I'm going to do then is just give it a quick juice up, get it nice and wet and soaking across the coil. Just make sure we get it all the way around. There, along the back here as well. You will always find that obviously if you've got it nice and wet, it makes it a bit more easier to work with, a bit more over the coil. Let's give it a little fire. There we go, we've got a nice, nice little vape off of that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get our tweezers and just Bring it just round the back, like so. Move that just round to the side. I want to try and keep, obviously keep it low, keep the bottom free, and able to get the vape. What we're going to do then is we're going to get the top section. Make sure that we've got the hole lined up with your coil. Slide that on the top. Put the cap back on, and what we'll do is now we'll go out to the top and we'll give it a vape. So, here we go. We've built our tank, our drip, and um, we've got it up on 0 0.54 ohms. Let's give it a try. And it's giving us a low resistor. So let's have a little look. So what we need to do is just give it a little uh, a little adjustment. Let's get a little switch back there. Put the lid back on. There we go. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Bit of a strong beep on that one. A good throat hit. Give it another go. Nice bit of smoke, bit of vape, so that's good. It's got a really good vape to it. Very, if you like a good throat hit, I would recommend one of these. It's really good. Get a nice cloud of it as well. So there we go. There's the RDA Mini Rebuildable Dripping Tank. As I said, it was my first time, not a lot. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I look forward to making the next mod review. So I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. All the best. 